Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. And thank you, Nightflare the Dreamer, from my Discord server for the commissioned video. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Hmm. Yes, my human associate. How may I help you today? You want to go home? <laughs> oh, oh, that's brought a tear to my eye. Oh, oh, you're quite funny, human. But sadly, I cannot bring you back to your human home. Your home is here in my ice palace, and this is your forever home now. Well, I wish I could try to bring you back home. I really do wish I could. Because, honestly, your work here has been a little lackluster than I like. But... Sadly, I cannot send you back. Well, you see, you've been down here for several weeks now, and the only reason why I can't send you back is because, well, do you remember the occult leaders and how they captured you and summoned me and gave you to me as a gift of sorts? Yes, well, apparently, the leader of that occult has taken a drop of your blood and used it as ink to write their name, and, well, your name, on a contract, a soul-binding contract at that, which means you are bound to me for eternity. Yes, that is the truth. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> oh, come now, human. Don't cry in front of me. It's pathetic. And plus, the soul-binding contract wasn't even written properly. The contract that the members made didn't work, because it didn't create the contract right, so it's useless. Basically, they just used your blood as ink. You still have your soul. I don't own you in whatsoever besides just you being here. It doesn't mean I'm going to send you back to Earth willingly. No, you are stuck here with me now. It doesn't matter if I own your soul or not. You're still my property now. And plus, I wasn't even planning on giving you away at all because I noticed something in you, something deep inside of you, that I gain interest in. You see, back when I just captured you and brought you back to my palace, before I did, I looked into your soul. And when I did that, I saw something. Something that deeply intrigued me. Got me, well, how should I say, curious. 
And thus, after doing some research, while you were still working around, doing my laundry, bringing me tea, food, all sorts of things, I finally made a discovery why you have natural pink hair. And also, your eyes are a natural pink hue as well. I figured out that you are actually half a demon yourself. Although I'm not really sure which species of demon you quite are, either or, you're special. There hasn't been really half of a demon up in the mortal world in a long time. That is why I'm keeping you as a personal servant, but also as my new pet. Oh, please, you really think you are normal around the humans? Do you understand how you are acting around them? Oh, hush, 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 now. You're not normal at all. Matter of fact... What were your parents like, actually? Because if you're half-demon, that means one of your parents had to be a pure-blooded demon in disguise. Or maybe you were adopted by a human couple. Hmm, that might be the case. But either way, they might have been abandoned. Well, they might have abandoned you. I should correct myself there. They might have abandoned you, and you just left your life to live out in the human world, thinking you were just some random human. But others may point out that they were killed by exorcist angels because their parents, because of your parents, had a forbidden love for each other. Because, you know, demons and humans, they can't really mix well together. It's kind of against the rules down here and also up there. But nonetheless, that's probably the reasoning of your own existence. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that humans would be such crybabies! Hush! Hush! There's no need for the crying! Ugh. You can believe that your parents were just all human and just loved you oh so dearly. But if they really truly loved you, they wouldn't have abandoned you. Or they would have tried their damnedest to actually fight against the damn angels that killed them. If that were the case. Hmm. So, but that is the truth. You are indeed a half-demon and half-human, whether you like it or not. And how much you beg, grovel, and cry at my feet, I'm not going to set you free. You are my permanent servant and my permanent pet. You are here forever. Do I make myself clear? Answer me, human. Do I make myself clear? Good. See, I knew you would be a good listener once I raised my voice at you. Now, do me a favor. My sister, she needs her dress done. Full on wash, dry, all sorts of things, ironed out. Because it was her favorite dress, but she spilled a little bit of wine on it and now there's a stain. I need you to go wash her dress before we get off to a party tonight. 
Yes, go on, chop chop on the double. <coughs> Hurry up. Hmm. Although, it could be interesting to bring that half-breed to King Paimon's summer palace for the gala ball event. Just to show off their unique beauty and to show off what I have in my own hands. <laughs> yes, I shall do that. I'll bring them to the party and show them off like they're my trophy. <laughs>